Hi, Edwin here from CatNotes. I have a table in Excel that I need to import into Revit. The problem is we know that in Revit we don't have a table as annotation. So I'm going to need creating a table using a key schedule. So if I go to schedule quantities, I can choose any uh, category. Let's say I'm going to use topography here because I know that I will not create schedule keys using uh, topography. Here, the name I'm going to type instructions template. The schedule keys name also same here. Then I click OK. For the fields, I'm going to create the same here as required, heading and description. I create new here. Let me just put here. So I'm going to create the first one is required. The discipline is common and the type of parameter is text. Click OK. I don't need this one. I'm going to create another one. Heading. Also text. And description. Also text. I click OK. Now I have an empty table here. I can actually insert a new data using insert row. Then I can type the value here. But of course, because we have because we have a lot of data, it will be easier for us to use Dynamo. So I'm opening my Dynamo here. I'm going to create a new one. Okay. I am going to use a node from ArchiLab. So if you haven't installed ArchiLab yet, uh, you can install the package from package, search a package, search for ArchiLab.net here, then click install. The first thing I need to do is to import the Excel data. Okay, the file will be file path. This one is my Excel. Then I need to convert this data into file from path okay this is uh, the this data type is file path but it requires file so i'm going to convert this into file okay for the seat name okay this is the seat name instruction i'm going to provide it using string I, put, I connect here then now I can see all the data is imported the first one the heading I don't need this so if I look into my Excel data I don't need the header I only need the data from number 2 to 30. I can uh, remove the first data by using rest of items. So we can see here the first row is already removed. Now I already have the Excel data. I can uh, import 
this data to my Revit schedule. So the note that I need is Revit uh, schedules then key schedule. For view schedule, I'm going to provide with views. Um, should be instruction template. This one. This is the data. And parameter name is the parameter here. So I'm going to create a list. I'm just going to create it with code block. The first one is required. So this is how you can create a list using code block. First one is required. The next one is heading. And the last one is description. Okay. Now uh, I already have the list. Then I can connect. Uh, let me resize this so we can see the import process from here to here. Now you can see all the data already imported. And of course, if I need to put this into my sheet, I can do this. Okay, thank you for watching. So that's how you can import Excel table into Revit.